Welcome to JTech News. Today I'm going to show you how to install iOS 12 on your own personal device, no computer needed. This is one of the easiest things you can do and in my opinion if you want to check out how iOS 12 works and all the new features that it has, I recommend you following these exact steps. Uh, so first I'm going to show you that this is a legit phone, iPhone iPhone 10, um, right there, version 12.0. I'm covering up because I don't want you guys to see my serial number. Um, so let's get started on how to do on your personal device. First things first, we're going to head to Safari. Uh, I'm going to have this link in the description, so don't worry about that. After that, we're going to head over to here where it says iOS 12. I don't understand what it says, but all I know is you have to tap in the, you have to tap the blue button. Once it does that, you're gonna say, it's gonna tell you this website's trying to open settings to show you a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? You say allow. Once you see this, don't be alarmed. Uh, it's letting you know that you're going to install the iOS 12 beta software profile, and it's signed by Apple and it's verified, so that's always a good sign. When you click install, it's gonna ask you to put in your password. Oops. Once you input your password, it's gonna ask you to install. I'm not going to install it because as you can see I'm already running iOS 12 but once you do that your device will reboot once your device reboots again and it, it's not it your iOS 12 will not be installed once your device reboots from clicking install once you click install you have to go to general settings you have to go to settings app then general then software update and then iOS 12 beta 2 will be waiting for you right there for you to download and then install okay so after you've done that the rest you will log on to your device and you will see this with 12 brand new features iOS 12 is gonna bring into your device and there's more to come I know that for sure so I first want to start off with speed improvements and performance this is one of the fastest devices I've used and it feels so smooth. Um, this is not even a placebo effect. But this iPhone feels super, super fast. Um, really, the performance is really there. The performance of this device is, is uncomparable. And I can tell you by personal experience, uh, other iPhones that are running I iOS 12, like for example, iPhone 5, iPhone 6 success, they all see an immense improvement in performance and speed. So one of the... So number one is performance. It's really gonna make your device feel alive and feel fast again. Number two is the new dark interface for the music player or the music widget. So if you were jumping into Spotify and just play a random song here and you put your device to sleep, when you view your music player, it's a nice, beautiful, dark interface. And it's just, I love it. Uh, I don't know why Apple introduced a dark mode to Mac OS. I forgot the name of it, but Mac OS, but not a dark interface for iOS 12. Like we all want dark mode for iOS 12, and especially on this beautiful OLED display that the iOS, that the iPhone 10 is rocking. I think it would look beautiful on this display, and uh, I really hope this is uh, Apple hinting on on making a really dark 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 interface for uh, iOS so that's the second uh, feature iOS 12 introduces to the music widget the widgets the 3d widgets when you 3d touch a icon um, so previously on 11.4 11, the border of this was a lot darker so you can read the text uh, clearer in this version it's not like that at all. You can kind of see it's kind of difficult to read, but I kind of like that translucent, uh, really blurred effect. Uh, number three is the brand new redesigns of a few stock applications. For example, the stock application. They got a complete overhaul on how the stock application works, how it feels, and was just reimagined from the ground up. So that's a new splash screen that says walk to stocks, an all new design, easily new stock quotes, interactive charts, and top news. Also, the stocks app now pulls data from the news app, which allows you to view what's happening to the companies that you currently invest in, or what's happening with com companies that you are wanting to invest in but haven't done so already. 
Uh, so we're gonna click continue so you can view and look at the new beautiful uh, uh, stock um, application. As you can see, um, I think I'm following the standard companies, Apple, uh, TMQ, all of these are some of the stock, some of the companies I currently invest in, some of the companies I'm currently looking at. So the fifth new feature of iOS 12 is voice memos. It's a brand new application, not really, it's just re been redesigned uh, for the iPad, iPhone, and Mac, and they're all connected via iCloud. Uh, so if you were to do a voice memo here, it would automatically appear in your iPhone, Mac, and iPad if you have it set up uh, within settings. The sixth new application or feature features another redesign, which is books. It's been no, it's no longer called iBooks or Apple Books, it's just called Books. So when you enter it, you get a beautiful new redesign of the whole application here. You have your library, you have your bookstore, you have audiobooks, and you have search. So all everything that has to do with books is right here, or PDFs. Uh, another cool thing is if you're in the nighttime, I heard, uh, it becomes a dark interface and uh, it's much easier for you to view at nighttime and it's much easier on your eyes. So the next new feature is in messages. Of course, I cannot miss out any emojis. So with any emojis, you have the power to create yourself and others easily. Uh, so you can see I have created some weird, crazy characters. And one thing I want you guys to notice is my eye detection. So do you see how my eyes are being tracked? If I look up, down, sideways, to the left, right, everything's being tracked, and that's pretty impressive. Um, same thing goes with all the other, you can see the physics of the hair. This is truly amazing technology happening right now. Um, companies that want to create animated videos and spend thousands of dollars to get something that's even close to the actions of my face in this video. Uh, of course, uh, Apple introduced tongue detection to all emojis. so if you were to stick out your tongue like this, it comes out, and this works with custom emojis and as well as, okay, so the rooster doesn't have a tongue, but I know this one has a tongue. <laughs> and this tongue is purple. So let's go ahead and look at the new uh, animojis that Apple has added, the teddy bear, the Snapchat ghost, or as you can see, again, this is all beta software. So you're, the, the, be, expect freezes like this. So what I do is normally just close out the application, reopen it, and we try it again. So here we see the T-Rex. And again, all of these have um, tongue detection. So Apple spent literally an hour or so talking about the Memoji. So if you haven't seen this before, this is kind of what Samsung introduced last year when they introduced the Samsung Galaxy S9. I forgot what they called it, but it's basically uh, yourself animated. And I'm just so glad that Apple made this feature just way better. You can make yourself, you can, there's so much detail, there's so much everything. They have, they have thought of everything. And uh, you can make whatever you want. You can make yourself look however young you want. There's just so many options you can choose from. Here right now I'm just going through a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna click done. And then here you go, you see? This is a massive man bun. My hair doesn't look like this right now, but you get the point. And again, another cool thing is you can record for 30 seconds now. And in iOS 11.4, you can only record for 10 seconds. So this is, you can now send meaningful messages to your family and friends or some crazy stuff uh, using Animojis. Yeah, there you go. So I just deleted that. Um, this is pretty awesome. Um, another cool thing is you can now FaceTime with, uh, with others, with up to 32 people in FaceTime and you can have your Animoji face on there as well. Uh, one thing to know, another feature is if you're on iOS 12 beta software and you FaceTime a friend of yours that has 11.4 or lower, if you're using the Animoji feature, they can see the Animoji on their device. Yes, they can see your Animoji on FaceTime on their device. 
So I don't know how Apple did this or if that's a bug or I don't know how that works, but your friend on iOS 11.3 or 0.4 can't see your Animoji face on FaceTime if you're using it. So that's pretty awesome. I wish I can show you the 32 people feature, but I don't have 32 friends that have iOS 12 on the device that are crazy enough to do it. And honestly, I do not blame them for not having that, right? Um, so. Wraps up the 12 brand new features in iOS 12. I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.